Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. My name is Anniken. Um, today I'm going to show you what I'm going to do when you find one of these strands hanging off your knitted sweater. So I was wearing this sweater in a when I was teaching in the yarn shop a few months ago, a couple of months ago, three months ago maybe, um, and I'd caught this on something. I did actually pull it through to the inside of the sweater and then I forgot about it. So I thought I would fix it now. Um, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave any comments below the video. This is my Cadson sweater, which I've been wearing a lot because it's quite warm and very lightweight. Um, even though it's lacy and quite thin, it's knitted in sock yarn, it's actually really warm and I've worn this so much this autumn. It is quite baggy, which is what I wanted, so I do catch it a lot in different things. Um, I'm not very careful either. So, I was teaching a few months ago and one of the ladies working in the shop noticed that there was this big strand of yarn hanging off my sweater. So I just pulled it to the inside. But what it's actually done is... Um, it's actually, if you look, I don't know whether you can see how easy it is to see it. Sometimes when you pull this, it can like tighten a row of stitches and it can be fairly obvious. So I actually started fixing this and then I thought, no, let me do it um, on camera so I can show you how to do it. So here and over here, it's a little bit tight because I've already done some of this. It basically tightened like a whole row of stitches. But you can still see it a little bit here on the left hand side. So let me show you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use, to start with, a just a small sewing needle. It's quite pointy, but it's um, not too thin. So what I want to do is I want to ease some of that yarn back through this tight bit here. So this is where I've caught this and it's just pulled it and it's pulled a row of stitches too tight. And you can kind of tell where that is. I can also feel it on the inside. You can probably see it better on the inside, actually. Can you see there's kind of like a ridge there? So I want to try and ease those stitches through because that's fairly obvious. So what I need to do is I need to work out where this yarn is going. Luckily, I haven't broken the yarn. So I want to work out where that yarn is going. So if I just look at this yarn here, I can trace it through and it goes through there. So I'm going to just pull a little bit of yarn through. Don't pull all of it through because some of it is actually going in the other direction, direction as well. And then I'm going to pull that through to the next stitch and you just want to try and follow that yarn across. And you can use a knitting needle for this if you prefer. Um, I find this easier because it's a bit smaller. Um, I just want to pull that through and it just eases the yarn into the stitches. So I actually need a bit more yarn. So I'm going to pull a bit more through. I've pulled a bit more this time because... I didn't get very far with what I what I did last time. So pull it through. So you don't want to leave the stitches loose. But you just want to ease it through. And I'm just following. So if you pull one like that one, it doesn't go. So that's obviously the wrong one. And then I went up the thread above. It can be a bit difficult to see which thread to pull on. So just try it. If it doesn't work, just try the one above or below it. That's the one because that's a smaller one. And I don't want to tighten it too much because I want it to try and fill in these stitches. Okay, so these all the stitches are too tight and they're quite loose, so they're a bit easier to see because they are so loose. Uh, so, sorry, they are so tight. There we go. If you end up um, with loose yarn over on this side, you can always just repeat this process and go back to the beginning again. That's no problem. Right, there we go. Okay, I'm going to stretch this a bit. So I took a little bit too much, so those stitches here are a little bit loose. So I, if I wasn't doing this on camera, I think I might just leave it. But as I'm doing this on camera, I'll just take this strand and go back again. Um, not much I was nearly I was almost it's almost okay but it's a little bit so I'm just going to take that back again and this is something you can do if you notice you have some loose stitches maybe a row of loose stitches maybe just a few loose stitches you can just do this and tighten it up and then take it through to the back 
and depending on how long the strand is you can just weave it in or if it's a very short one you can just use a bit of spare yarn and weave it in okay so now we're back here so that looks a lot better just going to give it a bit of a stretch that looks so much better and it doesn't have that kind of ridge on the inside but it also happened over here luckily it didn't go into the lace pattern it's just to the edge of the lace pattern so i can feel there's a ridge here as well so i want to get rid of that ridge you can see that ridge has gone over here so let's do the ridge on this side so that's the right yarn i don't want to pull too much Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of this over here and then I'll weave in whatever's left over there. Might as well do that rather than weaving it in here. It doesn't really matter where you weave it in. But instead of going over here and then having to go back again, if I end up taking too much yarn with me through these stitches, I might as well um, take all of it and then I can just weave in whatever's left over on this side. So just... If you're not sure which strand you're pulling on just see if you can follow the the loose thread through into the next stitch if you can't then just gently pull on something not too hard and see if you can do it um sometimes i'll try and like skip a stitch and do every other stitch i don't find that always works that well so it does work better if you go every stitch it is a little bit tedious i must admit but it's worth it um that the right one no that's not the right one oops hang on let's have a look okay. oh yes it is that there we go there we go so you can see there are a couple of times when i've pulled on the wrong stitch and that's quite easy to do so it's that little tiny one there hope the lighting is still okay it's only about three o'clock but it's getting dark already there we go Let me see, I can't see where I'm going next. There we go. Just be patient and do this. Take your time to do this because um, if you try and rush it, you'll just end up having to do it again. And you don't really want that. Let's see if I can... There we go. So I've only got a few more stitches left now. That's the wrong one. I must admit this yarn is quite dark and I'm struggling to see it now. It doesn't help with the way I sit when I film either. So I've got my arms around a tripod and I'm looking around the tripod. So it's not like having it and being able to stare straight down at it. Um, And it is more difficult with darker yarn. Right. Which, which strand is it? If you pull in this too tight, then it makes the stitch that you want to pull, the strand you want to pull smaller, and that can make it more difficult to see what it is as well. Okay, so I'm nearly there now. Okay, there we go. Not the one, it is that the one. There we go. Okay, so just about there now. I've just got a couple of tight stitches at the end here. No, that's right. Let's see if we can. There we go, found it. I was struggling a bit there to work out which strand to pull next. Okay, so I think I'm going to do one more maybe. And then I think I'm there. Sorry for mumbling. I'm just kind of talking to myself. So there. No, that's not the one. There we go. Okay. 
So that's about as far as I'm going to go because I'm nearly over by the lace pattern there now. I think that's okay. So let's have a look. Yeah, that looks a lot better. I can't feel that ridge on the back. Okay, so you saw how long the thread was to start with. So it's much shorter now. Obviously, I've still got a bit of excess yarn, but I'm not going to do anything about that. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you through to the inside. Okay, so if you have a really short, short thread like that, easiest thing is to put your needle through the fabric and then pull it through like that. There we go. Now, depending on how long the thread is, if it's really short, you can just leave it like that. But that's still a little bit long. I don't want it working its way back out to the right side again. So I'm going to weave that in. What I don't want to do is cut it. If it was really long, so to start with, when I first did this, because remember, I'd already done part of this fix before I started filming it. So I think the start is probably like that long. If it's that long, then you can cut it and weave in one strand one way and one strand the other way. But if it's shorter... And weaving it in in two directions is difficult. I think it's better to just weave it in together like this. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go in this direction away from the lace pattern. Let's just see where it is. So I'm, I haven't actually put it through the needle because it's so short. So I like to go in through the pearl bumps. So I choose one row and then I do several pearl bumps on that row like that. And then you can do them one at a time, but I find it easier to do it like this. Then I'm going to poke the yarn through the eye of my needle. There we go. And then just tighten it and pull it a bit in the other direction so that it takes up any of the slack. Yeah, I mean, this is not ideal because it is doing two strands makes it a little bit thicker. So it's not ideal, but it is also on the side of my sweater towards the bottom. So I'm not too worried about it. So I'm just going to go back couple of a few stitches oh, need to twist this around a bit yeah if the strand was longer I think it would be I would get better result if I split the two strands cut it and woven one in in one direction and one the other direction which is what I would normally do if I was weaving in a yarn even when I was changing yarns but um it's so short that I don't really want to do that. And I don't want to just leave it hanging on the inside either. There we go. And I'm not actually going to cut that because it is attached. Because it's so short, I'm not going to cut it. Because what I don't want is that to work its way back after the front. And then start unraveling my knitting. So let's see what that looks like now. Okay, where is it? Oh, it's here. Yeah, so I can kind of see it. It's a little bit, I don't know how visible it is. It's a little bit of a kind of shadow there. And I can kind of see it and I can certainly feel it, but it's right at the bottom of my sweater, right at the side. So it's not that visible, I don't think. So I'm happy with that. Uh, and I'm going to leave it like that for now. There we go. Have, has anything like this ever happened to you? I mean, this is not just for uh, hand knitted sweaters. This can happen to commercially knitted sweaters as well. The thing with commercially knitted sweaters is that quite often the yarn is much thinner. That makes it a bit trickier, but it's the same thing, same principle. So anything that's knitted but is commercially machine knitted or hand knitted, you can use this fix. So tell me if that's happened to you and what you've done about it. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment below and please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you haven't yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. And thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.